the McCoy's All Day Brown Drake. Um, we've already tied up a bunch of these bodies uh, on the pins and uh, now we're moving forward to the hook. Um, so basically take your thread uh, for this particular pattern. I'm using the, a 6 ot rusty brown color. This happens to be uni thread. Um, something close to it will work. And I'm using a size 12 Gamagatsu B10S stinger hook. Um, I like this hook because it's real tacky and uh, allows me to get that extended body profile and keep a small fly size as well. So anyway, this is what I'm using. We're going to tie in our thread right behind the eye. Come back just short of the bend. Get a nice base layer of thread on the hook. Help keep our foam from sliding too much. Okay, so now we're going to split this foam again. Get all this other material up above it. And then following the same pattern as we did in the body, each segment's going to be progressively a little bit bigger as we come forward. Come in with a loose wrap or two here. Gonna pull this forward. Sorry, that was too long. Okay, now we're gonna peel this back again. Advance the thread forward on the hook. And then that piece of thread that we left, we're going to just kind of grab it, get a couple of turns on top. And what we're going to do is pull this tight. And what it'll do is put a little taper in our tail. It's hard to see right now, but as we clean this up, you can see what I'm doing. back in with a couple of thread wraps secure it this will help the fly keep its shape we'll trim that out now all right we're going to advance our thread to the next tying point everything over the top come in front again At this point we can cut out the moose body here and we're just left with the foam what I'll do at this point is come in and clean up this tail. So I'm going to try and do this so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to spread these fibers apart a little bit. And take a cut right down the middle. Trim out our foam. I'm going to try and leave about four or five fibers on each side for the tail. And that'll do it. Okay. So now you can kind of see what we did here. 
this will give us that split tail look right there you can come in and trim up any foam that doesn't want to cooperate just don't cut it too close to the thread wraps the closer you get to that the more likely the fly will fall apart and I don't use any glue I haven't used any yet so this fly is usually pretty durable when it's done okay so for hackle we're going to tie that in next and then we'll progress forward with the wing so this is going to be a parachute so I, what I did is pluck two feathers from two different color saddles. Um, this is a Cree or a dark barred ginger from Whiting. Um, and this one is the golden straw dyed grizzly from Whiting as well. So we're going to combine both these colors in this fly. So I'm just going to pair up the feathers best I can. Come in at the base, strip out stem a little bit. All right, so we want some bare exposed stem to get this wing started. So we're going to tie this in right here. Trim that out. And we'll bring our thread right back to the foam. We're going to tie in our wing. I'm just using white deer belly hair. Um, this stuff is a little bit shorter than some of the commercial stuff that's available. Start with a decent sized clump. Now for proportions, I'm going to look at this body. I want that wing to be about the length of where we cut the foam. And we'll tie that in right there. Just right up on top. Through, let it flare. And then we're going to cut this out. Here's a few more thread wraps. All right. So now we want to take both the wing and the hackles. We're going to post this up. Like so. And then we'll wrap our hackle. You may have to play with the feathers to get it kind of started. Tie it off right at the base of the wing. And 
advance our thread just short of the eye. And trim out the hackle now. Now we're just going to advance our foam forward. And with a loose wrap or two, make sure everything's square. Trim that out. So now that we're that far, last step is where all the magic happens. We're going to basically use a marker now. These are just prism colors, standard yellow. We're going to hit this body up with some yellow first. Try to leave a little bit of the cream exposed. And then just a brown marker, lightly just touch it up. And that's it.